Uh, afternoon, Scott. Hi, um, how prepared do you feel going into the start of this season? Obviously, I know you've brought in a three signings so far. How are the other potential incomings progressing? You know, you've been linked with a goalkeeper, Neto, and now you're looking for a centre half as well. So, how do you feel going into the start of the season? Do you feel like you're ready? The team is ready. And also, can I ask you about Dom Solanke as well? Obviously, signed a new deal. Scored a lot of goals in the championship last season. Do you hope that you can I can't, that? I can't remember all these. <laughs> <laughs> so, on Solanke, just how do you think he's going to do next season, and and how do you feel about incomings? Uh, yes, Dom, obviously, good. Um, Great news for, from us, really. That obviously we've been managed to to now dom down for for a longer term contract. Um, same with Marcus Tavernier coming in on Monday, securing that signing was uh, was very big for us. A player that we um, we really like and a player that we feel um, can go to the next level in the Premier League. Really, so I'm pleased with with both of them. Really, um, and then regarding the season, look, listen, it's just. We're full battle ahead now. This is this is where we are. We're, we're, we're in, in terms of a squad. Everyone in their power at the football club. You know, when you sit here as a manager, sometimes after games, of course, there's certain frustrations, and I don't really want to get in, involved in that. Certainly now, where 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 we currently are, my head and the team's head is solely on on Saturday, where we're going into the the biggest league, something we've worked tirelessly for last year. This group of players. Um, it's clear, of course, we need to we need to add, and everyone at the football club is is trying their hardest to do that. It's not an easy market, and like anything, when you want to try and bring players to improve and players to help, the players that you're often looking at are players that are other clubs want and they don't want to let go, really. So, I understand that. Um, but like I said, we need to bring something at the weekend, which is a fighting spirit, which is a which is a real determination, and something that. This group of players, uh, my, myself, the staff, the fans, um, the owner, the football club wanted all last year and we worked tirelessly for that. We're now three days out from, from that occasion really and we need, to, we need to embrace that. And just on that, Scott, how, how confident do you feel that maybe there might be an incoming maybe before Saturday or do you think that seems unlikely? Uh, I think that might be unlikely. We're, we're definitely... Um, we're definitely down the line with with certain things and and certain ones, and that gives me and all of us at the club in, in encouragement. Like I said, we're, we're we're trying on that, and 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 definitely we're we're in the right remits for that. But um, maybe the weekend comes comes a bit quick for that. Mm. And can I just quickly ask one more question? Um, obviously, the taking the knee has been a, a big topic, and the fact that it was not going to be happening at the start of the Premier League season. What is your thoughts on that? In terms of, uh, do you think that it's a good thing that it's not being carried on now? I don't. I think it's a personal choice, really. I, what what I do know is that the the captains, I think it is, and and the clubs have agreed that there's certain games, one being the first game of the season, which you take the knee and then ongoing there'll be certain match days where that will be the case. Um, I think we see last year every club and every decision was down to the players and how they see it and what they see it for really. So um, yeah, I think that's exactly where it is. The captains have, have obviously decided the best and the biggest statement and I think that's probably the, the biggest thing here, what is going to have the biggest effect on it. Um, so yeah, that's that's where I see it really. Afternoon, Scott. Um, one of the first incomings you had this summer was Ryan Fredericks, but we haven't seen any pictures of him training recently. He's clearly got an injury. What is the, the diagnosis there and, and what's the latest? Um, the latest is he's on the grass now. He's he picked up an injury probably when we was in Portugal, really, a, a calf injury. Um, it, it, it'll, it'll be too quick for him the weekend. He won't, he won't be ready for the weekend along with Joe Rothwell as well really which is disappointing and these are two players obviously we've brought in and um, have both picked up knocks. Joe will be, probably be a little bit longer than Ryan in, in where he is um, but like I said he's on the grass, he's progressing in the right way, he's moving slowly um, in, in, the, in the right steps which is pleasing and hopefully over, over the coming weeks we can get him up to speed and, and, and get him in the team or around the team. Pre-season, you've also hinted at a different approach to this Premier League season. There's obviously a way that fans have been used to watching Bournemouth in the last 12 months. How different is it going to look? Well, I hope it ain't going to look too different in that sense, but like anything, um, the challenges for any promoted team 
coming into the Premier League and the quality you face, um, there's things that you've got to alter and there's things you've got to change. And whether that's down to, to dynamics in the squad or dynamics in personnel, um, my experience at the Premier League, one of playing in it for 20 odd years and, and then obviously, obviously coaching it in one season, um, I have ideas on how I feel is going to be best equipped for us. And of course, I may be wrong in that, but I believe my qualities and my experiences um, will make me at least attempt to make the right call, really. So um, I still want us to be dynamic. I still want us to be an aggressive team in, in, in their moments. We're a young, a young team, and we see that last year. Last year, a young, free-flowing team. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm sure I, I like to think that we're going to see that again this year for us. And what have you personally missed from managing in the Premier League? Just, just being in the Premier League. This is the reason. This is the reason you do the job. This is the reason why you spend hours and hours trying to be successful. And the pinnacle of success is is being in the top division. And um, this is exactly it, really. So, along with the players, um, like I said, everyone at the club, the fans. This is exactly it. Last year we worked relentless to get to this point and of course we have a big challenge ahead of us this year like every like a lot of other teams in this division but it's a challenge that we'll embrace it's a challenge that that's the reason we do what we do really so um, I'm looking forward to going up I'm looking forward to seeing the team go up against the quality of what the Premier League possesses really and um, more importantly like I said this is this is why we get out of bed in the morning this is why you know, the, the aim of, of being at the top leagues and the aim of being around the top players and the top managers is the reason, is the main drive for, to be successful. Uh, and final one, just looking at your centre-back issue, I know that you've got targets, but I also looked at the start to your season and it's pretty testing. Is there any part of you that's preparing them for that when, you, when you've got such tough fixtures to open the season? Well, always preparing the team, yeah, of course, preparing the team for... I think we could sit here every week when you when you when when I sit here and every game we're gonna come up against is there's gonna be challenges, there's gonna be quality. Aston Villa in terms of the the depth that they have, the money they've spent to improve this year, the quality they have on the pitch. So um yeah, the these challenges are gonna always be there. But their challenges is what we, which we need to embrace. And um like I said, right now from the minute we walk in on Monday, there's one focus and that focus is Aston Villa. That focus is the quality of what Aston Villa possess and the challenge for us is to go up against this quality, not shirk it, not back away from it, not be scared of it by one for one second, is to go and, and try and take this opportunity and, and, and assert ourselves as much as we can. Um, so yeah, that's exactly where we are really. Thank you. Afternoon, Scott. Uh, contract extension for Dominic Solanke and a new long-term contract for Mark Travers. Scott, what does that tell you about them? Yeah, look, I, th I think both of them players, uh, well, Mark Travers is one who, obviously, his first full season last year in, in, in goal and had an incredible season, really. So, um, a young player, along with Dom. Dom, probably last year, was his first real season where he... He was prolific in in the sense of 30 odd goals or whatever he got, and to now down both of these players on longer term contract is ambitious from the from the club. Definitely shows uh, the right direction of which we we want to go to really. So um, I'm pleased we've we've managed to secure both of them players. Hopefully, maybe more as well. Um, just to yeah, just to keep the 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 team and and the progression of the team going in the right direction really. Scott, you played with Steven Gerrard throughout Euro 2012. What was he like to play with and against? Um, yeah, he was brilliant to play with, against not so much. Um, challenges, obviously. I think Stevie was, you know, certainly in our generation, arguably one of the, the best midfielders certainly I ever come up against, really. All-round midfielder. Um, can do every part of the game, score goals. Dynamic uh, defensively as well was... Yeah, and then playing with him was obviously a pleasure, really, to play with play with him as well during that tournament. So, um, a lot of fond memories playing against him. Fond memories, some some also not some fond ones because there was always a battle on your hands and there was always some challenges. And then playing with him as well, some real fond memories. Honour to play for your country, Scott. Uh, Dominic Solanke and Lewis Cook both got one cap. Should they have playing for England at the back of their mind this season? 
maybe. I think the most important thing for 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 them players is first and foremost let's let's take this next challenge, which is there for them both. And the next challenge is how we can fare. Can we can we consistently perform at a level which is a Premier League level? Um, two seasons now in the Championship. Before that, um, probably not regular in, in, in the Premier League. So my message to, to Dom and Lou and to, to all the players really in terms of everyone in our squad, um, a young team and the next ambition now is can we go and perform in the Premier League? Can we be consistent in our performances? Can we show our quality? I believe we can, but of course there's a, there's a step that we need to take and I believe they have the attributes and the qualities to take that step. But I also realise there's, there's a big challenge and they do as well. And um, we need to embrace that challenge, consistently work, consistently want to improve and get better. Um, and that's probably the biggest um, thing for both of them at the moment is the next challenge for them is not England, it's, it's the Premier League and that's where they need to be. This, now I'll start this again. Um, how much is this season going to be about managing those expectations? You know, you had a lot of positivity around the club last season. Promotion this season is going to be a challenge, like you said. Yeah. How, your role is going to be making sure everyone keeps turning up positive. Yeah, it is. That's going to be one of the biggest, um, the biggest challenges, really. I experienced that last time I was in in this division with probably similar, similar-ish. Um, team, a team that just got promoted from the Championship. The golf in levels of the Championship of Premier League is night and day, facts. Um, so, of course, I think, you know, we, I certainly understand where, where this season is and the challenges we're going to face, how we're going to deal with that psychological element at times in this division is going to be pivotal, it's going to be crucial um, for us in terms of how, how successful we're going to be, really. The biggest challenge for me is just that these players embrace it. These players don't shirk away from this challenge what we face. No one at this football club shirks away from the challenge we face. There's going to be bumps and it's going to be sticky times along this journey for sure, one million percent. But as always, like I've said over the last six weeks to this team, we relish these chance, uh, we relish this opportunity. And the one thing we do, we always front up, we always come out, we fight, we battle, we do everything in our power um, to try and get results every week. And um, that's the main aim, really. You've been quite outspoken about the, the squad depth at the moment. But how much was that a calculated gamble, a message to the board? Because naturally that could be taken in a negative way by the players here. Mm with that challenge ahead of them? Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't calculated. Maybe it's emotion. Maybe it's definitely emotion after a game, of course. And I realise certainly now as well, you're in the Premier League, everything, you know, every every comment's held on to as well. But it is the truth in that sense. I'm not criticising what, what, what I have here in that sense. I'm not criticising for one second. The squad of players I had here showed me last year the fight, um, the spirit what they have and so that's exactly it the facts are like everyone at the football club knows at this moment in time we need to bring some players in and everyone's trying their hardest to do that me as the manager sitting here I want them in three months ago of course I do that's just because that's that's where it is that's what I want I also understand at times it like I said it's it's difficult in a market where it is very competitive a market which is a lot of teams spending a lot of money. We're probably in a different market to that. So we have to be creative um, while also trying to bring in the right quality. I don't want to just bring in players here that are not going to improve us or not take us on um, them levels. Um, so yeah, I think that's just exactly where it is. Of course, you can read a headline and or, or maybe my manner at certain moments will give the impression of that. But yeah, that's not the case. We need help. Everyone, everyone's acknowledged that and everyone's in their power is trying to do something about that. Um, and that, yeah, that's, that's it really.